Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Crystal Ship. You can check the juice box below the video for all the juicy juicy. Let's see what our messages are for today. The heart of the reading we have Akatel. Akat is the reed. So this is reminding you about your approach to things, not to be too rigid, uh, because if you're too rigid, uh, you may break or like things will come to a successful fruition. So there needs to be flexibility and also also this is about connecting with your passion. So sometimes our passion can be something that we externalize and strive to get to. But if you turn this around in your mind, and instead, imagine yourself as the reed growing from the earth, from the water and the earth. You may start out as a seedling. You may be uh, weak in the beginning, but as you grow, you begin building strength. Up until the point where you can be more focused and really understand like what your own colors are understand what your own passions are so it's a growing process and once you understand what your passion is just like a reed can be lit on fire you too can be lit so this is getting lit to your passion so let's move to tonakat this is the body we have Tezcatlipoca, the smoked mirror. Tezcatlipoca is an aspect of the shadow of Quetzalcoatl, the sacred twins. So, especially in regard to your physical well-being, this can have anything to do with your physical body, to the car you drive, to where you live. It's important to get out of illusion this is a very hard warrior's task so on the surface of the mirror that you look into you could imagine like a cloud or a smoke it doesn't let you to see all the way to the truth so it's important now to look past the smoke the illusion the mask into the greater acceptance of who you are and what's important and what's healthy as in what brings benefit and what brings life so it's time to clear and cleanse detoxify remove yourself from things that no longer serve you circles of friends uh, ideas presuppositions and begin to see the true authentic you this is totally accepting yourself this is deep acceptance work accepting that you have not been seeing the truth about yourself or situations let's move to Mati the mind we have uh, Tual is called Pantakutli, the Lord of Light. This is the Venus star. So this is transcending your own time, your own silical nature, noticing where you are on that uh, spiral of your own life, which timelines you're connecting to, and bringing illumination and spiritual incandescence to these timelines to transcend, evolve, and transmute. Bringing that energy up and out. This is also about allowing new vision into your mind. Practicing tailmania may help. Tailmania is a practice, a Toltec practice, where it has more spiritual implications, but in general, it's taking time aside every day, even if it's a short time, to empty the mind and allow 
your divinity in. Allow your higher consciousness, allow your connection with the creator. So for some of you, this is, it's time to enlighten and awaken your mind. Let's move to Teoli, emotions, energy in motion. We have Koat, the snake. Right up in the corner, you'll see a scorpion. This reminds you especially with your emotions, that uh, there are things that you need to face. So for some of you uh, getting co-opt, co-opt the snake is either viewed as our weakness, which is actually our hidden strength. It may be something that you avoid. Uh, the co-opt snake is our shadow side in a sense that it is what keeps us what keeps us in lower vibration. So having this in your emotional sector is a calling to face those big emotions, clear those big emotions, work with them, move through them, acknowledge them, accept them, so that you can turn them into your strength and into a source of power. If you allow the emotional sutterfudge, I'm hearing that word, it's kind of funny, a uh, sutterfudge. If you allow that to remain stuck, you're going to have a hard time in all other quadrants of your life. So it's important to acknowledge them and to learn how to work with their energy because many times we believe that our weakness is like a negativity or a negative aspect. In truth, our weakness, when we go into it and look into those places that we feel weak and that maybe you have to cover up or hide or mask, uh, this will reveal your, re reveal your true vulnerability. And this is part of the key in turning these dense and heavy things into enlightened strengths. Let's move to Teot, the spirit. Here we have Kuitzbalan, the lizard. So this is a direct calling that you are on a shamanic path and that you perhaps too are a shamanic initiated individual. Um, if you want to book me for more guidance or to do a guided shamanic journey for you or to bring information through for you, go ahead and do so. Um, this is a calling of uh, not an easy path because you do have to learn the underworld and give birth to a new world at the same time within your own life cycle. Uh, but this can also be a calling to midwifery for some. Having Kuitzbalan here is a direct link with this spiritual path. And walking a shamanic path is a very down-to-earth approach to spirituality. So it may be time for your initiation here. 